Hi everybody, I have an upcycling project to share with you today. We are going to be melting down these old candles and making new ones using this candle making pot that I picked up from Michaels for $4, or it was originally $17. So these are all the old bits of candles that we've had for the last couple of years. I just want to remove all of the labels off the bottom and then I can put them into this pot. It's going to be on the lowest temperature. It's also my smallest burner. It doesn't take a lot of heat to melt these. And I've left all the remnant pieces inside like the wicks and everything. It's not going to matter. That's all going to get left behind when we make our candles. So the first kind of candle I'm going to try to make are for rolling candles. We've just recently made some beeswax uh, honeycomb rolling candles and I thought I would try to make our own using some parchment paper and on the other tray I've got some wax paper and I'm going to try to make a very thin layer of wax but it didn't work well. I couldn't get it thin enough and it just cracked. So I stuck this whole bit back into the pot to melt down and then I decided to just make candle molds using these cookie cutters in these beautiful fall shapes. Some leaves and things here and I'm using the smallest ones because I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm also greasing the interior of the candle or rather the cookie mold. These are metal molds, which I think even the plastic ones probably would work too. I'm also using some baker's twine as the candle wick. And I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not, so I'm only adding a very small amount of the wax to see if it actually stays within the mold and doesn't seep out from under the mold. And it did stay in place. I was actually surprised. And so I stuck the wick into the first one, and then I went ahead and added some more of the wax into that first mold. Now the little bit that's on the outside of the mold that was just because when I was pouring it in a little bit of it got onto the outside because I had turned off my burner and the wax had started to cool. So I put in a little bit more of the wax into each of those other two molds and then I put in my candle wick and then I went ahead and I filled them all the way up to the very brim and since we're a little impatient I stuck them in the freezer to cool completely and about 20 or so minutes later they pop right out. I was really surprised. I didn't think we were going to have success with this. This is our first time doing this so I was really pleased with the results. I especially like the way they look in these fall in inspired molds and they actually burn well and you'll be able to see that a little bit later. So each of my kids were able to pop out one of these little shapes and then we stuck them on a little round log piece. We trim the wicks down to about a quarter of an inch and then we moved on to another project. With the wax that was remaining, I put it into a cleaned jar that is hexagonal shaped so I thought it was appropriate for a candle and I used a little dowel or one of those skewers for uh, for cooking meat to hold the wick in place. Now this is going to have its problems and at the very very end of the video you'll be able to see why this candle didn't cool in a way that it that the candle can be used. You can kind of see a little bit of that crevice there that actually goes pretty deep into the candle and if you tried to burn the candle with that deep of a crevice you could cause a fire if it wasn't in a glass container. So we went ahead and lit all of the candles. It was really nice. My kids were really happy with this project. I was thrilled with the success of this project because this I, I didn't actually expect it to go so well. So I'm actually looking forward to burning these candles and having little remnant pieces to work with in the future. Don't forget, you can check out our projects on Instagram. Okay, so here's the problem with this candle, and I'm going to have to add some more wax if we want to actually burn this one. 